Alright, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a way to make it so that the enemies can actually fire at the player. So first I'm going to be creating a uh, abstract class that my enemies can inherit from. And for simplicity's sake I think I'll just call it enemy. And I do want to inherit from mono behavior, but I want to make it an abstract class. Not 100% sure if Unity actually allows this, but I guess we'll find out. So, let's see here. I'm going to add a uh, virtual method for firing a projectile. And it's going to take in a game object that will act as the projectile, and as well as a uh, target and a time that the projectile should take to travel to the target location. And this is probably going to implement a coroutine, so I'll go ahead and create that now. I believe that's using an I enumerator. I don't want that to be public actually, I want it to be protected. And I want it to take in the same arguments as before. And the public function will actually just call on this. So it'll be start coroutine, fire, and it'll just pass in projectile target and time. And then in the actual implementation, I think it'll start off by getting the uh, initial position of the target. And then let's say it waits for, sure, I think I'll probably add that in as well, uh, an aim time, so that it can uh, wait for a bit and see what direction the target is traveling, and I'll actually default that to 0.1 seconds. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Hmm. Maybe it's innumerable. Position equals target dot position. Our projected position 
equals uh, let's see here it would be the next position minus the initial position divided by the aim time and if I do send in zero for aim time it will return an error that should be velocity there we go that's why I was confused probably actually cut out the 30 seconds or there where I stared at the screen blank blankly um, but find the projected position of the player or the target and that would be the next position plus the velocity times the time that the projectile will spend moving and see here I'm going to then instantiate the projectile instantiate projectile uh, cast it to a game object get its rigid body and set its velocity projected position pro position minus current position of the enemy itself divided by the time and oh I just need a semicolon at the end. What else did I do wrong? I forgot to add a... No. Oh! Velocity is not a method, it's actually a property that I can set, so I need to put equals. Alright, no errors. Alright, resharper is telling me that that's redundant, so I'll go ahead and remove that. Possible null reference exception. Well, if I'm passing in a null game object, then there's already something wrong with me, so I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. Um, yeah, that should probably actually be the um, any everything that's required to get a projectile to hit the target. But... Oh, yeah, that should be an I enumerator. Alright, now everything's happy.